I've started to get to know you a little, but I'd like to know a little bit more about uh, what you were like when the school gates closed and the day was done. What were you like after school? I'm looking for lamest, most embarrassing after school extracurricular <laughs> activity. <laughs> I hear. Uh, I moved into the very cutthroat, uh, dangerous and exciting world of competitive debating. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <He's> one. <laughs> uh, did, did being in the debating club uh, attract unwanted attention from people who the kind of kids that weren't interested in debate club? I <laughs> sort of nerdy crap at sport did weird stuff like debating and stuff. I ticked so many eminently bullyable boxes yeah. that <laughs> it is to this day a shock that that wasn't yeah. <laughs> something that... A missed opportunity. Constantly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, what were you like, uh, Ian, after, after school? After school. Naughty? Rebellious? Piece lame? Piece of shit. Piece of shit? Awful, awful bastard. Awful bastard? Yeah, got thrown out of, like, everything. <laughs> Give us an example. Tennis. Gone. Asked to leave by the tennis instructor. Worst person she'd ever met, she called me. <laughs> <laughs> Not even, like, the worst person I've tried to teach. <laughs> and then went to the Cub Scouts. Yeah. Put a cricket ball through a stained glass window in the church. <laughs> Whoa, I like this. <laughs> we were playing a game where someone stood against... One person stood against a wall and everyone else <laughs> threw balls at them. Actually, <laughs> we're playing a game. It's called cricket. <laughs> we don't no. play cricket in Scotland. You played, you played a game of people put a kid two. against a wall and then pelt him with cricket balls. <laughs> so then I got a cricket bat <laughs> to make the cricket ball game even more entertaining. Yeah. Hit the ball... Um, How with... far away from this little kid were you? I was at a f couple of metres. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I hooked it, it left. Yeah. And it went through the stained glass window of like, like one of the proper proper pictures of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then actually he was doing that as well, so it looked like he was trying to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> uh, Rich, can you beat that? Did you get into trouble outside school? When my parents had to go up to see the family in Manchester, but I had this sports meeting in Essex, so they left me home alone, age 14. So you do what every 14-year-old does, don't you? You have party. a house party. <laughs> so uh, I had a house party. You get involved in a competitive debate. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, I did get caught because yeah, one of every, my... I mean, there's no teenager in the history of the world has ever not got caught. I'm so yeah. close. <laughs> it was it's such a ridiculous reason I got caught as well. Go one on. of my friends brought her boyfriend round, who I'd never yeah. met, and my parents rang home on the house phone because it was before mobiles and everything. So he answered the phone and they said, uh, hi, who's this? Can we speak to Rachel, please? He said, <laughs> who's Rachel? Oh. <laughs> They realised that. Oh, oh, so that would make sense on. on a mobile, but on a land, like, if someone phones the land like, and goes, Can I speak to Rachel? Oh, that'll be the one that lives here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But they don't give a, they don't <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> Just chuck some numbers then. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like the next day my dad got home and, like, absolutely livid and went in the bathroom and came out and, like, face, like, bright red, furious, picked something up and goes, What do you call this? Livid that there'd been drugs, and he was holding a smint <laughs> <laughs> with a really specific, like, triangular shape and like yeah. an S on it. <laughs> yeah, during the period of several years, where for some reason I believe that my parents just didn't have noses, so couldn't tell that I was smoking. <laughs> uh, but it was just like my mum being like, "What's this?" And I just had to pretend that a filter was a mint, and I just ate a filter. <laughs> <laughs> she knew. Of she knew. She knew. <laughs> I have to decide whose story is going in the box, and you would think that smashing Jesus with a cricket ball would be enough. Yeah. But I think it's possibly even more embarrassing to get into trouble for having spits. <laughs> yeah. So that is going in there. I've got, hey, we've got a little... little bag of smits. <laughs> little little bag of smits packet? there. <laughs> to represent your dad. Going, what do you call this? <laughs> in it goes.